Today she's going to show us an adorable Easter craft, these very, very beautiful paper mache egg containers. Okay, so they're not too hard to make? Not too hard to okay. make. They take a little bit of time for glue drying and all that, but all crafts do. Okay. So we were really lucky because Martha brought in her Aracana eggs, right. which are this gorgeous blue color. So what you're doing is hard boil the egg. It's hard, it's in there. And just with the white glue, we're going to paper mache it. Oh, okay. And I just, I like to paper mache with the, with the paintbrush and tissue paper. And I just use the paintbrush as a, like a finger to pick up the tissue paper. So it makes okay. it really easy. So you do like half an egg at a time? Half an egg at a time, let it dry, and then do another, then flip it over, do the back side of it. And then you want to do probably- How many a, layers? About like 10 layers, but you can do, Ooh. you can do like a couple of layers at, at a time. She told me this was easy and it, it wouldn't is, take any time at all. I mean, it's not something you want to do the day before Easter, but you no, know- I better start You got to start tonight, you know? Yeah. So when you have, and, if, and sometimes like if the glue gets a little thick, I like to with the paper, with the tissue paper, if you wet the brush a little bit, it really helps smooth out all Am the wrinkles. Right? Perfect, yeah. Oh, okay. So, so you're going horizontally, I'm going vertically. Does that matter? It doesn't matter. You know what? I like to go horizontally like that and then go across it like that for my next layer. Oh, okay. So it really doesn't matter how you do it. You can okay. do, you can go X's, So whatever. this will take you several days. <laughs> No, not really. No, it's it, actually, it, it, it's actually all these crafting projects are really there. You fun know, it's something. Yeah, you can do. You can start one night. Does it and then matter the if next, it's a little bumpy? It no. doesn't matter because look, okay. When, we're so, flock so it. Say I thought we were just going to flock it. No, you have to paper mache it. Oh, I didn't it, get otherwise that. Otherwise, the eggshell is going to be too thin. So obviously, I did not read my directions. Well, once you get all your layers. Okay. On. Yeah. Okay, it's gonna look like this. And as you said, Martha, it does, doesn't matter if it's bumpy. Well, oh, can I just you can show sand this? It. Can I show this one little thing? This little, it's just a little piece of foam core, foam core stuck with, with little pins. pins so that you have a nice little resting rack for your eggs. It's a perfect thing yeah. for dyeing because if, if you're dripping, if the dye is dripping right. off, it drips right onto that and you don't have any okay. rings or anything. So, now so he here we have. See, okay, we want to is, sand it a little, okay. and I just took like a, a 220 sandpaper and Instead just kind of steel kinda, wool. Well, I, the, the steel wool I use to buff it to make it oh. almost like the eggshell. So again. you don't want to so, go through the paper, though. No, I mean it, it's not gonna. It's so fine. The sandpaper. I told paper. you it was gonna take you more than a day <laughs> and, to make one and egg. And then the steel, the steel wool, you could just hold in your palm like this and rub it around. So this is, and it makes it look, really smooth. I mean, you don't have to get so no, no, crazy just, like we do here. I but, know. You know, you can just leave. It bumpy and flock it and it's fine. And how does it look? It'll look fine, you know, it won't look as pretty as mine maybe, but. Okay. So, and then buff it with the steel wool? Yes. Okay. So we have one here and okay. if you feel it, it's really smooth. It's just yeah. like the eggshell. Yeah. You could barely even tell. Okay. So now this is the fun part, cutting mm -hmm. it. The kitchen hooked me up with this amazing serrated knife. Locked and we're edge. working on a towel so that the egg isn't. So I gonna, should hold it this way. Isn't going to move around. Yeah. So you want to kind of get Get it started. A piece of um, foam rubber would be good too. Yeah. Yeah. So get it started. We're cutting it horizontally, and you don't want to do what Horizon I just I said. Thought vertically. I mean vertically, vertically, right? And you want to do long strokes. Like a, like a saw. Like a saw. So. Okay. So here we have the hard boiled egg. Which we, can right. we make egg not egg uh, salad? I out wouldn't of it? eat this. That does not look so good. No, this one looks really gross. Okay. So then you want to scoop out that hard boiled egg. Okay. If you guys saw that I pulled okay. out that membrane. Yeah, there it is, that membrane. It's right. Yes. And I used like a little piece of sponge to really clean it out, is like a, a damp, damp a damp sponge. And then okay. if you have like, if it's really sticking, you could use the dry sponge to kind of, you don't want to uh, break any of the shell, but right. you can use that also to help pull it out. So then you have your two clean halves. Yeah, okay? but you want it really clean. You want it really clean. Because you don't and, want your and, jewelry to and smell if you, like And if egg. you can see, <laughs> When right? when the yeah you, yeah you'll you'll clean it it'll and it's it's fine once all that all the yolk and stuff is out. If you notice how the inside is blue in the Aracana egg, so you don't have to do anything to the inside. So I sealed the inside of this with to what? really keep the the with a clear acrylic oh, paint okay. um, to really keep that blue color. <laughs> Okay. So to make it a box, oh, yes, so we have our two halves. To make it a box, you take a piece of paper, this little strip right yeah. here, and I've already used our this fun tape stuff on it that leaves the sticky stuff oh, I see. on one edge, and we're gonna just okay. take this and curl it around and put it in one side of Inside? the egg, okay. right, with a lit with half of it sticking out, and this is, is just making already? yeah right. See the sticky yeah. right here. Okay. 
So you're gonna just stick that in, and I just used that tape to really help so that it, now, was it this, wasn't flipping out. Was this our, our crafter's uh, suggestion too? Well, she had the piece of paper in there, yes, but okay. of course I had to add all my little fun stuff to keep it in there, and you know, because everyone has tricks the way they do okay. it. So I used that tape to get it to just stay in there so it wasn't, you okay. know, coming out. And then with this fine tip why of mine, white glue. Why is mine coming out? Yours is not coming out. It is, look. look. Look, I'll show you. I could do it in a second. Well, you've Watch. done all these eggs before. Look, that's fine. Like okay, that. perfect. Perfect. Okay. Okay, and then you just take glue and go around to keep it really in there, and you let that dry. So while that's drying, we're going to flock. Okay, so you want your little glue with that little applicator, which you might, right around the edge? Right here? around the edge, okay. just okay. in that crease to really keep it in there so oh, that okay. when you're opening and taking over the box, off the lid, oh, okay. it doesn't that's go good. Yeah. Yeah. So we've never flocked before on the no, show. No, never. This is and our this was really newest exciting. product. It's a, a great, it's called flocking powder, and it's basically like glitter. You can use it just like glitter, but you get fuzzy instead of glittery. So you're going to... You're going to uh, so with okay. glue, same way we paper mache we'll paint over the side of the egg, outside of the egg, and I matched the tissue paper to the color of the flocking powder so that I didn't have any weird streaks if I didn't get the flocking on perfectly. Okay, and because she's fanatical. Yes. You have to be when you're making you beautiful are. crafts. I mean, these are. This is a really beautiful craft, and you'll see. You'll see why we've taken such care to make this Ooh, so perfect. <sighs> I don't want to have any dust in my flocking because I'm gonna. If I don't use it up, I can pour it back in. Right. I, I the love wind in here is flocking. just taking this it away. This is Hannah Millman's favorite product now is the flocking. It's really, you know, I one time years ago found it at a flea market and was like, what is this? And I had no idea until, well, you it's know. It's unacceptable as wallpaper, right? <laughs> flocked wallpaper we don't want, but we do want flocked, flocked eggs. Flocked eggs. Now, I wish I had a little tweezer to hold this. What do you I, do with well, that? Well, I just kind of hold on one edge yeah, and okay. then you could touch it up on the end. But it may, it's so mm. pretty and when it dries, it's all oh, fuzzy. It's, it is. It's like velvet. It's yes, like a velvet. It's like a velvet egg. egg. So you'll see that our, our rim in there dried, and yes. I put ribbon on the other side, yes. right here, and now it closes Oops. and becomes a little egg box. Yes. Okay. And then you can adorn it with with really great embellishments. We got all of these embellishments at Tinsel Trading. 